Hello, in this uh, video here, I'm just going to show you real quick. Uh, this is a continuation from the last video that I had. And if you happen to watch that other video, sorry for the how it, how it's so long and how it turned out. I'm just not used to Mr. Camera talking at a camera. But anyway, I'll make this uh, short, sweet, and fast. But I uh, just want to show you, this is the clapper right here. And here's a clapper right here that I modified. You can see I get the right right here the wires I got that soldered on there I got the amplifier still left on there and the reason why I got that kept on there is uh, it's so it still boosts the signal but it still can hear everything in the room too but um, I got a way to cover that up and fix that too so the reason why I have that on there like I said is uh, the amplifiers connected to that microphone too so it keeps it boosted so I don't want to mess with that so anyway and then over here is uh, well kind of a mess in here but got the power supply units got the clappers right here and then I've got the stereo here the 5.1 or not 5.1 but I've just got a regular uh, stereo uh, hookup here and it all leads to this 5.1 signal. So the back, uh, the base out channel, whoops, goes to the clapper. And then the other channel, which is the uh, left and right speakers, output they go to the speakers back here anyway i wrote a program and just to show you guys how all this all works in order to make the machine have like the slingshots in here have them have them launch out the balls or project all the other thing while while you're hearing audio so it's pretty slick here we go turn this activate that okay so i got it set up so when you hit this uh top arrow it, it sends out uh two signals to the clapper so for the for the two channel part for this here and then the one on the bottom is for the is for three so it'd be like three equivalent to three claps you can't hear this because it's going through that 5.1 and then the other part, while that's going on, I'm going to hit the Z key over here. And the Z key, I just got some random space shuttle sounds or whatever. So you can see while this is going on, you can also um, you can also see the uh, when I hit one of these buttons here that it actually activates the like say the slingshots and maybe this here. As well so get that down so let me just let me just show you real quick without the add without the audio on there turn this on you can see it cycling through right now and it's letting me know it's it's a-okay so I'm going to go ahead and hit the, the top arrow, and I want you to see this over here. Watch what happens, and then watch what happens on the play field here, if I can. I don't know if you can see that. Then you hit it again. It stops stops the solenoid, so then this can come back down again. Let me do it again one more time. I'll do it actually one more time. I want you to see the other part of it, the uh, the plunger over here on the back side here, up here. Right here in the center. Here we go. I'm going to hit that up arrow key again. Watch what happens. 
And then we disengage the solenoid. Okay. Now on here you can see that when that goes up, it stays up because there's a uh, a other solenoid here that releases the side and pops that up. Now with the one key on the bottom, it's going to bring this back down and then it's also going to launch the ball over on the side. But I want you to keep an eye, keep an eye on that right there. And I'm going to hit the, the down key, which goes for three, like three claps, three audio, audio claps. You cannot hear because it's going through the bass out into the clapper. I got it wired up, for, go directly to the, the, cap, the clapper. Okay, here we go. Then I'm going to disengage the solenoid. Just like that. Now, just just for uh, now demonstration purposes, now since I got these two separate channels hooked up, uh, I'm going to have the audio play here like this here. When I hit the Z key, you'll hear audio. Okay, so you heard that. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the Z key, and then you watch. I'll hit the uh, the up the up arrow, and which will make it go two times on here. And then I'll engage it, and I'll hit it again to disengage it. But so what that does is as the as the game is playing, all right. Um, this is all on a separate channel just to show you how all this kind of works. So you won't hear the signal to the clapper at all. So all you'll hear is the audio coming from coming from the uh, the speaker. So anyway, here we go. I'm gonna turn, put the audio on, and then watch up here. And then here we go. So, as you can see, that all works. And then, so now basically all I got to do is all these, all these micro switches, I got to hook them all up to the computer. And then from the, comp uh, from the computer, that'll, when I'm writing this program out, it's going to, it's going to tell it to make whatever sound effect that I need to do or whatever. And then, for instance, and then also too, when it lands on the, for these ball little release mechanisms, like say when you go up on the ramp, it'll hit a micro switch. It'll send a signal that you cannot hear to tell that to uh, release the balls. So then you can have multi-ball. Or if if not that, uh, advance the ball from, from inside here. So if it's here it needs to go over to the other to the outside there with the plunger. It does that too. So uh, anyway, so that's that's all I wanted to show you. Just to give you more of a demonstration. In the next next video, you will definitely see the the finished game. I'm, I'm gonna what I'm gonna do is gonna have a monitor this way, and I'm gonna use a special tent for the the glass here, and it's gonna have like the the scoring and everything like displayed like almost like 3D. Um, so I'm gonna have all that hopefully done in a few more weeks. But uh, but like I said, I just wanted to show you how how all that worked, and then of course you know, um, yeah, that's that's basically it. But anyway, yeah, this one this video is not as painful as the other one. The other one was like thirty minutes and just mindless r rambling and watching paint dry basically. And I think I think the paint finally did dry at the end of that one, but. Uh, but anyway, so this video here is just just more more uh, put together video here to show you how all that works, and then also to the software I'm using Game Maker software, so I'm writing the program for that. Um, but anyway, so this you can you can take any any pinball machine that's missing the head with all the the CPU boards and all that. You can make it your own by using WAV files uh, and writing a program in Game Maker. And, uh, and then also using all the different power supplies for all powering for all the different 
different things to pop bumpers and everything else. It looks complicated and it looks like a mess, but um, but it's actually uh, it's. I mean, I got to get this all organized in here, but it's it it's come along pretty good, pretty fast. So anyway, take care. See ya. Bye.